There are two main types of programming languages, imperative languages and declarative languages. With imperative languages, they tell what and how when programming. They follow control flow logic such as branching or loops and determine the execution order. And they use compilers to translate the code that you write into low-level machine code or bytecode. And there are two types of imperative languages. There's procedural, such as C or COBOL, which are made up of functions or subroutines. And then there's object-oriented, such as Java, Python, or C++, which can store data and object types and have data and methods. With declarative languages, they tell you what but not how when programming. Logical expressions determine what results are processed, and they don't have control flow statements. Instead of compilers, they use optimizers to help speed up the statement execution time. SQL is the most popular declarative language. Database queries are mostly written in SQL, which is a declarative language, because it's easier than imperative languages. You can write complex queries with a single query, as opposed to lengthy code to write a conditional statements. The optimizer also makes it faster. Developing applications with both SQL and programming languages like Java or Python is called database programming. Database programming requires developers to get used to SQL syntax as it's much different than programming language code. While these programming languages like Java or Python need loops and complex conditions to get results to output, SQL can do the same with just a single SQL statement. To help simplify database programming, there are a few techniques. There is embedded SQL, which lets you add SQL statements directly in your program. Oracle has Pro-C, which is an embedded SQL in C, and it's not widely used because it's difficult to use with object-oriented programming languages, and it requires a different compiler, and it increases network traffic. There's also procedural SQL, or PLSQL, which extends SQL with control flow statements, and it's mostly used for database applications. Procedural SQL has more advantages than embedded because it's not as widely used as an API. An API, which stands for Application Programming Interface, is a code library that contains all kinds of database functions that you can use in your program. For example, Java has the JDBC to make connecting and updating your database a lot easier. And this table on the bottom of the screen shows embedded SQL, procedural SQL, and API, and it gives you a little high-level comparison of the different kinds and what applications they use, whether or not they support object-oriented programming, how the network traffic is, the database independence, and the number of compiler steps.